This program is brought to you by Emory University. You know, it seems to me too that, I mean, documents, particularly in the form of photographs and a lot of your poems, I mean, they do preserve, but they also offer, seem like they offer you a way to enter a place or a time, you know, otherwise you, you couldn't, you couldn't, I mean, you, you would physically be unable to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, so do, do you, when you think about your poems based on photographs, think about the photograph as an instrument of access as well as one of preservation? I do. Um, I think as a poet I'm I'm most attuned to the visual image. I'm most drawn to exploring it um, even before uh, any other images that come to us through the other senses. And so I turn to photographs, you know, as that kind of window into um, a place, a particular time or historical moment. We were photographs a, a, a big part of family history when you were growing up. You know, there's some photographs, they're young photographs of you and they're photographs of your, um, is it your grandfather's store? The club, Son oh, Dixon's store? Uh, my great uncle. Your great uncle. My grandmother's brother. Was this a part of how your family told stories about, about itself? Is this a part of how you know that world? Well, I mean, there are a lot of objects and, and photographs. I mean, there, there were a lot of them. And um, between photographs and um, records, <laughs> my great uncle son, you know, he had a nightclub. And so um, my mother had been collecting records that he got rid of, you know, after they were too old for the jukebox, you know. Um, so my grandmother had all of those in a big uh, console in the den, and, and she had the photographs too. And, you know, once I'd read all the books on the shelves, there was nothing to do but look at those things. Uh, my grandmother didn't have a lot of books there. Um, the encyclopedia um, and photographs and records. And records, yeah. I was thinking about how 78s show up quite a lot um, throughout your work. Um, I mean, obviously in the first large segment of domestic work, um, in, the, in the part two, records come up. Mm -hmm. And there's also a poem where you describe like your stepfather's um, shouting as being louder than the static from an old 78. Mm -hmm. And so it seems like the records are actually really important part of that family legacy. Yeah, and it's, I've never been a collector. Um, I don't have a collector's personality, and I think that that has a lot to do with not wanting clutter for some reason. My grandmother was a, you know, the other word for collector might be pack rat, and she kind of was, and, and I, I didn't want to be that way and so I've been jettisoning, thing, jettisoning things for a long time and at the moment that I figured out I better save some of this stuff by then it was just about too late I had decided that I was going to take all of these things and I went through that console at my grandmother's house and um, got them all ready to go and I was teaching at Auburn then and I was going to go back and get them and then that hurricane hit, not even Katrina, the one before that, um, which actually took out that room of my grandmother's house, and so all those things are gone, mm. you know? Yeah, so it's just, it was just too late once I decided. And also, I, I really regret, um, after my mother died, you know, I was a freshman in college, and. My father came um, to Atlanta to help me sort of move out of my mother's house because um, I didn't have home with my mother anymore, so I had to 
um, beyond my Mississippi home, make my apartment at school home. So I couldn't take all these things, and so we were getting rid of things. I, I gave away um, to lots of her friends her clothes. Um, my mother had, I can't even tell you how many crates and crates and crates of records. Um, Some of those from... I, that entire, yeah. uh, you know, we got rid of that entire, entire collection of, of albums. All of it. I, if I could have that now. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.